Normally when the timing belt is installed correctly and top and bottom shaft are synchronized, at the point where this thread take-up lever is in the size position, these two marks on this particular machine, which is a Kansa 225, two arrows line up. If that's the case, the top and bottom shaft are properly synchronized. In case they're off for some reason, or you need to remove the belt or replace it, let me show you how to take off the belt and put it back on so that things are still properly synchronized. I'm going to use a hairdryer to warm up the belt before I take it off. It softens it and is less likely to harm the belt as you're removing it. So I've warmed up the belt to make it come off a little easier. You just, as you turn the wheel, you slide the belt, push it to the right until it pops off the lower toothed drive wheel here. So, so now the bottom spins independently of the top and in case you either replace the belt or you need to put it back on, before you put it back on what you should do is bring the top belt in the position so that the take-up lever is at the highest position and then you turn the bottom drive shaft so that these two marks align, two arrows on this particular machine. In case you don't have these marks, um, you can also use this as a visual guide. That This is the feed, accenture, drive lever here. It needs to be at its farthest bottom point that it can go and the lever itself should point directly at the shaft. Then it is also in the exact right position to synchronize bottom and top drive shafts. So top is in the upper position, DC are lined up and now I'm gently, as gently as possible, sliding the belt back on and verifying one more time that when this take-up lever is at its highest point that these two arrows line up or this Accenture lever is in the farthest back position and it should point directly at the shaft. And now things are properly synchronized between the top and bottom drive shafts.